this looks like a bad idea right here. Uh, she real swampy. Let me roll this window up. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, she was not liking that. <laughs> Let me put it in four low. Work our way out of this, maybe. get out the window here but and another thing too is I got to put this in a manual mode so let me roll the window up put it in manual mode see if I can get these tires spinning a little bit we're gonna go manual second Shoo! all right so now let's see if we can back up oh uh, he just got stuck Manual second again. We're working our way out. I told you guys this was a bad idea. Ah, oh, he's stuck to it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try it first gear. We just got like a wall of mud we're plowing right now. All right, here we go. We're going to spin it. Dude, we just threw mud all the way to his Jeep. We're just going to keep rocking it. Oh, you stuck, dude. Oh my God, dude. Why did I do that? Oh, I got to roll this freaking window up. That's funny. Guys, we got a rhino down. We got a rhino down. This is some nasty crap. I don't know what happened. I couldn't go around it, I, you know. Well, he just yanked me out super easy. Appreciate you, sir. I got plenty of you guys here. <laughs> uh, it's too muddy to try and record it. I didn't even want to grab the camera. There I gotta go return the favor. He just got stuck, so I'm gonna get him. <laughs> Dude, I've been out here for five minutes. Five freaking minutes. He's stuck, he's stuck. He just got stuck. And um, we're unstuck, so that's good. And we'll get this guy. I don't know, that's gonna be a tough freaking pull. But he's got the big tires, and once he's got that motor start singing, dude, those tires will clear and uh, let's try it. He just ran the winch line, and I anchored uh, to the white Jeep right here. The winch is working. I don't know. He might have to snatch block it. All right, this guy's stuck now. Um, he's gonna try and pull it all the way forward. We voted just to pull it backwards. Same way it goes in is usually gonna be the easiest. Right now you're just fighting a wall of mud. That truck should be able to put down around 10,000 pounds of pulling power on soft terrain like this, which is about as much as that winch did. But if he starts bumping on it, he can, he can get some force. But with dealing with mud suction like this, guys, it's usually best to winch. Oh God, oh God. You guys duck. <laughs> oh, that soft shackle is gonna go. 
that chain. Oh god. Oh god, something's about to break. Oh, oh, oh. Called it. Called it. Yeah, we can winch it. We'll get it. We're we're about to just hook up the winches on this side and get it. I was just trying to back up to get turned around to winch. Then ended up sliding down into it. That's too funny. But originally, I think we're gonna have to run double snatch blocks to that thing, use one of these big dogs as an anchor. But he's gonna uh, pull me out. He just run my winch out right to him. Hell yeah, that works. Sit here and do it. Put it in drive. She goes. Nice, nice, nice. Nice and easy. All right, we hooked up a couple more straps. We we'll back up a little. Still got, still got plenty. And then uh, pull it again. If this doesn't work, two winches. This one and mine. Use him as an anchor. Double snatch block it. But that thing is in there, guys. It's in there deep. another big dog dude if he gets stuck we're screwed <laughs> everybody's been stuck in this one I mean, if you can just get it off, you can have it, but I don't know if you'll be able to get this piece off. Now, I need my sledgehammer to beat this, the knot out. Let's see, we got it tied up in there. Mean, bro. Oh, yeah, bro, he's got a lot of work into that. I can show you pictures from when oh. he was that better be on frame stands. Is that a 7.3? 6 oh. That sounds hey, mean, see, old body stuff are enough. Guys, I started this. I got stuck right there. And then the Wrangler got stuck across. And then this guy was stuck over here. And then he buried it. And over here farting around caused some attention. Uh, but they're about to use that uh, Rhino USA 10 foot tree saber. That way it's nice and up and just kind of lifts it up. That's the plan. Although this is dangerous, guys. Like, that truck's so tall, if something on the back of that truck were to break, it's coming right down on top of him. I would probably pop the hood. <laughs> Solid! That worked very well. Break that mud suction. Dude, that truck is such a beast. I don't know, something like that hooking up in the dirt. Probably good for 15, 20,000 pounds of pulling power before it starts to break loose. I don't know, that's just a guess. Could be significantly more, but not really sure. I would love to hook up one of those like tensiometers of that thing, see what it can really do. I got me a souvenir, dude. It's a but, <laughs> I'm not. We turn around and now that guy's stuck. He might be able to work himself out. Yeah, if that, if that big one gets stuck, we're screwed. We'll have to hook up like six winches. Uh, throw, I'll throw it in the back of the Jeep. <laughs> Thanks, dude. That uh, might work. That thing will pull it any direction, but it's just a matter of if it's going to tip it. Yeah. yeah it's not needed. Some solid <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, he's not even. Oh, he's moving by himself. Oh no, that thing's just idling. Look at it just idling. He's not even giving it gas. It's literally just idling. I freaking do so. Wow, dude. That's some serious power. That's no joke. So being a sponsor of the event, I have to do their mud challenge. It's my obligation to this community. And uh, I just really hope it's not up past my door jams. I don't want to get the carpets wet. I've avoided that for a long time now. There is a spot or two where it's probably every bit of 40 inches deep. So we're going to run through it and uh, fingers crossed that we don't get stuck because that's a long freaking ways. Deep guys, she is deep. And I'm following behind a truck with 43s on it. She's bogging down on me. Oh god, it just dropped in big time. my doors right here yeah that's the line so it's just up over the door jams smoking a little bit well we got to go up to the winner's circle up here uh, he got first I got second we were the only two that entered that's how you do it son Well, I imagine if we hang out here for a little bit, we'll get a couple more. We just got done with all the announcements. We had to hang up out at the main stage for a little bit. And uh, I'm coming back to where we were just hanging out. And as soon as I turn the corner, there is this side by side. Stuck in that same area that I was stuck in. And uh, dude, he looks stuck stuck. Uh, he got stuck back there too. That's where I was stuck. There's a little bit of obstacles back there. We're gonna go see if there's anybody stuck. Just kind of follow the main road towards the back. There's not many roads you can go for a long way, so it's not hard to find. Some of their bigger events, the big mega mud truck events, the Muddy Valentines and the October one, this whole area, even back here, is slam full of campers. Got another one. Yeah, got it. <laughs> Got it? Alright. Oh, there's something down there. Redemption. 
Dude, I went into it and I forgot to put it in freaking four low. And as soon as I got in in four high, it just bogged out. That was my mistake. But he's gonna pull me out and uh, I'm gonna do it again. We didn't make it. Yank it out real quick. Get her done. Oh, <laughs> you good, dude? It's getting kind of slow out here. Um, I think I'm gonna stand out right over here and yell at people to hit the hole. I talked them into doing that. <laughs> That's exactly what I did this morning. <laughs> Too funny. Uh, yeah, I was just pulled these guys out and then I went to go drive away and the guy was like, oh, they're stuck again. And I turn around and, oh, that's a good one. Uh, I left you guys alone for two man, minutes. It doesn't listen? This is his fault. You wanna go from the back? Um back probably. Highly I mean, likely. The front the front. I do prefer from the front, but I'll take it from the back. Well, I'ma go through it. It looks real tore up now. Dude. All right, I sat there for about 15, 20 minutes. That area slowed down, but it looks like everybody's moving back over to the main pit and we might have somebody stuck. Usually when people start stacking around like that, something's going on. So we're gonna come over here and check it out. Go back up to it again. Phew, hear that turbo? You gotta pull him out. That's the turbo I heard. I thought it came from that thing. Oh, look at that big old rhino strap on the back of that uh, F350, 250. And then we just pulled him out. He already has a rhino rope connected to his truck. The guy in the Jeep over here stopped and was like, oh, look, I got a rhino rope too. another one this this is the spot over here man this mud is just like it's insane <laughs> that thing looks fresh it's got a brand spanking new green robe you just see that green standing out like crazy right on the spare tire we need to throw you a winch line I'm gonna try to snatch him. Well, you snatch him, I'll drag him out. Yeah, you know. <laughs> She's 
in there good. One more of those. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. You're still in it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We went from one spot to the other. All right, get ready. Go ahead. Go, 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 go. Shoo! We're literally sitting here watching this one and then he's done. <laughs> We're just backing up to get that one. Dude, it's bad. Guys, I, I kid you not, I just went to go pull away and then I got like almost stuck right here in this stuff. I didn't see that it was in front of me right there. And then, uh, yeah, it just turned into a mess out here. We just pulled that blue Jeep out of here. <laughs> I got you. Get it. thing was eaten. Oh boy. Oh boy. Done. Oh yeah. I need some 43s man. This 40s ain't cutting it no more. Well we got a big old blazer. Oh it never ends. It never freaking ends out here. That's in there. You got front toe points on it. Oh, he's not even locked in. He was hooning it. He got it through that and then he got into that one. Yep. <laughs> that thing's a beast, but she ain't getting out of that. And we got this one hooked up, ready to go. You're done, not today. That Jeep is an absolute unit, but that is uh, no joke over there. Yeah, I just started plowing a wall right here. So we'll disconnect that and go around to the back and hook it from that. That's gonna be a good one too. Wind's starting to pick up a little bit. We're gonna winch off the buggy. I had him throw one of the hitch shackles in there. And uh, we'll give this a pull or two. Problem is, it's just gonna keep coming down into this crap. We hooked up a couple ropes and straps to it. I'm gonna clean up and then make my pull.
she was in there. All right, guys, I'm gonna call it a day. We'll get this thing washed out. Look at this crap. There's so much stuff. Down before we get back on the road. Guys, don't forget, almost once a month, we give away a power box. The power box consists of a 7 8 by 20 foot uh, kinetic rope, gray or green. You get two soft shackles. These are the 3 8 soft shackles. You get a set of the uh, four ton D rings, three quarter inch. These do come with the isolators. You get the E tool, comes in a nice little fold up pouch. This thing pops out. Um, good little camping tool, beach tool. Uh, that's the box for it. And then you get a tire plug patch kit. This is the whole power box. We give one of these away almost once a month. All you got to do to enter to win it is be a subscriber to the channel and comment something on any of my videos. We just pick a random comment every now and then. But also, I did want to point out, you guys are seeing this stuff in the back. If you haven't seen this already, this is the 1.25 inch Kinetic. This is the big dog, dude. This thing's like 55,000 pound brake. It comes in a big carry bag. And the long awaited winch line. We finally made a friggin' winch line. And this is one of the nicest lines I've seen. Uh, it's got a 16 foot removable uh, sleeve on it, protective sleeve. It does not come with a hook, it comes with a soft shackle. So um, we may or may not start getting to, to making hooks, but this is a reinforced in with a brace. Um, this is usually the, the weakest point of a winch line a lot of times. Not necessarily the weakest, but I have had failure with other winch lines where this uh, brace will crimp under a hard load, like double snatch blocks. So we specifically reinforce this in. Um, yeah, that's a 95 foot rope. And uh, they're going to be on sale here real soon. So keep an eye on that on Amazon, on the website. Um, and then if you guys have big trucks, check out that 1.25 inch kinetic. But yeah, if you want to win this power box, drop a comment. And if you want any of the equipment that you see me use, go to our website, rhinousainc.com. Uh, you can pick up all this stuff there. You do get a discount. Use my discount code 4x4rescue. It saves you 10%. And if you're not familiar, if you don't have Rhino gear already, everything that Rhino makes comes with a lifetime warranty. It's the best warranty in the industry. But if you made it this far, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.